Hello everybody, good morning or afternoon or night or whatever you're watching this. Um, I didn't film an intro other than the one you just saw. And I was pointing at the band on my braces because it's really uncomfortable. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. This is a soft date night glam look. I actually, I wore this out to a thrift store with my grandma, but I do wear this for date night. So we just went ahead and started with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And that was in shade light medium. And we're going to start with the eyes, that way we can clean it up and make it look nicer. So this is the Morphe 350 palette and I'm just grabbing that white shade to set the concealer on my eyes so that we can get started with the eyeshadow. This palette is the Lorac Unzipped palette. Um, it's in the gold um, like palette color. I know there's like a white one that kind of look the same. This one has more pinky shades in it. So we're just gonna start out with a big fluffy brush and we're gonna grab the shade Unconditional. We're just gonna buff this into our crease as our transition shade. In this video, you guys are gonna see me show you the products for one eye and then I'm gonna let you watch me do the second eye just so you can catch the technique. So that was the bigger fluffy brush and now we're gonna grab the smaller fluffy brush. It's just a little bit more dense. I use this to pack on darker colors. So we are now using the shade Unspoken, and we're just gonna put this kind of in our outer corner to give us some depth. Right there, I just switched back to the bigger fluffy brush just to blend out any harsh lines. These two brushes are kind of hard to tell apart, but I just use the smaller one to pack on color, and then I use the bigger one to blend out harsh lines. Um, this color right here is Unbridled. It's a darker purple, and we just layer over top of that brown shade to give it a little bit of warmth. Right here I'm putting Unspoken in the front, like inner third of our crease. I didn't originally think I was gonna do that, but I went back and did it. I thought it looked really nice. Um, this shade is called Undercover and we're just using it to brighten up the inner corner. You are not supposed to tug on your eye like that, but I have to because I have really creasy eyelids, so. Do not try this at home, kids. Right now I'm just blending out harsh lines with no additional product, and then adding more of the undercover. Undercover is kind of like a whitish pink shade. I just use it as a base. You'll see here in a second what I do. Grabbing more unspoken, just deepening up a little bit. These shadows are really nice. They're really easy to blend and they have good pigment. And they're really buildable too, so like you can start out light and then build it up um, to the pigment that you want. So you just see I keep adding the shadows until I get the colors that I want and then I blend them out. So now we're going to use Unbelievable. And we are just going to layer that over top of Undercover. Undercover was just our base. Um, right here I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus, and this difference in the shadow is insane. Look at that. Look at that. That's the same shadow. I just used Fix Plus, and it brought it out more. It gave it more definition. Now we're going to use Undiscovered. This is more of a gold shade. We're just going to put it in the center of our lid as a little pop of color. I also use Fix Plus with this to give it more pigmentation. It makes it a lot brighter, a lot shinier. Right here, I'm just adding a little bit more depth and blending out where we put the shimmer shades. Making sure everything is seamless. All right, now in my Z palette, we're going to get MAC Nylon. Um, if you watch my other video, I use this shade in my other video too. And I just use this as an inner corner highlight and a brow highlight. I really love this shade. I need to use something else <laughs> to switch it up a little bit, but I really love this way, the way this looks. It looks good with every single look. So right there, I just blended it out a little bit. There was kind of a chunk of shadow and it kind of streaked. So I was just blending it out. And then we're going to put it on our brow. So right here I'm using the It's Ulta brand Micellar Water Makeup Removing Cleansing Pads. Um, I like these because they're hypoallergenic. 
um, so they're good for sensitive skin and they don't have a scent and they literally just melt your makeup away. So this is what I was talking about where I'm just going to show you guys the technique. So I'm not showing you the shades again, but I'm doing the exact same thing as the other eye. And you can use this technique with any shadows. Um, that's why I just wanted to let you see the technique and not worry about what shades I'm using. As you can see, again, I just used the um, bigger fluffy brush to blend out harsh lines and then the smaller, slightly more dense fluffy brush to pack on color. There's that MAC Fix Plus again. That's my savior. And also, the way that the light is positioned around, like in front of my face, you can see the pigmentation of the colors better on this eye. So like that um, undiscovered right there looks more gold on, uh, if you're looking at me, it's my left eye. Um, that is just because of where the light is. So it looks the same on both eyes off camera, but on camera, the lighting is playing tricks. You wanna make sure you melt the shimmer colors right into the matte colors. So that is why I go back and add more and then right here I clean up the edges and it just makes it look really sharp. It gives you really good shape and basically contour to your eye shape. Alright and now we're going to start with eyeliner. Um, I'm using Maybelline Gel Eyeliner in Black is Black and then this is just an eyeliner brush from Morphe. All my brushes are Morphe but they come out of brush sets so they don't have numbers. Um, in my last video I linked the brush sets if you want to use these exact brushes. But right here I'm just tight lining. I'm sorry, this looks painful. Um, tight lining is going to, well for me, it makes my eye look look more put together. So uh, you don't have to do this if you have smaller eyes, but my eyes are huge. So I like to make them look slightly smaller and it also brings out my eye color. So I do this with pretty much every single look. All right, and now I'm switching the brush to a smaller, more pointy eyeliner brush to bang out that wing. And right here I did speed it up um, more because otherwise we'd be here for 30 minutes watching me try to perfect my eyeliner. Here I am, tugging at my eyes again. When I do my eyeliner, my eyelashes get in the way, so I like have to do this. I've tried to do it without it and my eyeliner gets messed up, so it's like, do you want a nice wing or do you not want wrinkles? Hopefully I can just use like age-defying wrinkle cream. Uh, there's a neat trick for cleaning up your eyeliner if you get messy. Just using those micellar water makeup removing pads. Um, I use a different brush because this brush helps me get a uh, more defined wing. And then there's me shrugging my shoulders because that's my opinion of how my wings turned out. <laughs> Right here I'm using the Lorac um, Oil Free Mattifying Face Primer. It just depends on what kind of look you want. If you want to use like a dewy primer or a mattifying primer. Today I was just feeling a mattifying primer. Sometimes it's more romantic to look matte. And then here's my favorite t-shirt at the moment. It's the Little Mermaid t-shirt I got from Target. It says go on and kiss the girl. I literally wore this shirt like all day and I might have worn it the next day. <laughs> there was my excitement. This is a Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Um, the shade is 110 Porcelain. And I just pour it on the back of my hand and then and pick it up with that Real Techniques complexion sponge. And then I blend it in. So this foundation is very buildable. Um, I believe it's medium coverage. This day I needed a little bit more coverage. So I would put a layer on and then build it up by putting another layer on. I believe I only do two layers though. Don't need that much coverage. This foundation is more yellow toned and my face is pink toned, but my neck is yellow toned. So basically I have both tones of foundation just depending on what I want to blend out. This is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I use that damp beauty sponge, dip it in and then set my whole face. And actually when I was doing this, 
I usually do concealer first and use it to highlight my face. Um, I was afraid that this foundation was going to start slipping and sliding, so I just hurry up and set my face. And then after you'll see me, I just, I keep the powder away from my under eyes and I will add concealer just right under my eyes. There I am. It's the Tarte Shape Tape, the same one I was using earlier. And I just applied it right under my eyes and blended it in with where the powder wasn't. Um, also, if you see somebody walking behind me, that's my grandma. She was staying with me this week. And then if you see me like smiling or talking, her and Lori were distracting me. Uh, this is a Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. I'm using the yellow shade under my eyes, which is Lyric, that's the name of the shade. I'm just using that to set my under eyes. I'm using the yellow powder as a highlight instead of the Laura Mercier, which is just translucent. Um, also, if I didn't mention it, Lori is my boyfriend's mom, so she's hanging out at our house right now, talking to me and distracting me. Right here, I'm gonna use a flat defining brush, and I'm going to grab that brown shade from earlier, Unspoken. I'm just gonna press that up under my eyelashes, and then I will blend it out with a pencil brush. And I'm also using pink, the pink shade, which is unconditional, to help blend that out. You don't have to use additional product, but sometimes using another shade will make it softer and blend easier. I obviously have blue eyes, so I like putting brown shades under my uh, lower lash line to bring out my eye color even more. Right here, I'm kind of, I'm not really smudging out the eyeliner, I'm just blending underneath of it to make the shadow kind of like smoke out in the outer corners. This is the unbridled shade. I am just putting this on the outer corner, just like we did on the top lid, for more definition, and then blending it with no additional product. And then we're gonna start on the brows. We're gonna use um, Anastasia Beverly Hills a Brow Definer in medium brown. I used to use dark brown, but I'm taking my hair back to my natural color, so I think that medium brown matches better. And basically for my brows, I just help them. They're um, thinning on the tails. So I kind of just give them their shape back, fill them in very lightly, and then blend them out with the spoolie. Some days I like more defined brows, but this is the soft date night glam. So soft as in not super brows, you know? Um, this is a Maybelline, I believe they call it clear mascara. It's just brow gel. I use the clear one. And then here we are on the other brow. My brows are definitely not twins. They're not even sisters. They're more like besties. So we just try our best to make a match. You know, you know how it goes. Here I am blending it out with the spoolie and then I'll add that clear brow gel again. I just try not to be messy when I'm filling in my brows because I actually don't like carving them out with concealer. I think that look, makes them look like more structured, like too structured. I know that this is super out of focus. I am curling my lashes with a Revlon eyelash curler. Um, I'm just gonna blame it <laughs> being out of focus on Lori and my grandma being in the background talking to me. Um, for my top lashes, I use the NARS Audacious Mascara. The color is Black Moon. The bristles on that brush are really spiky and my lashes like to tangle, so they really help me spread out my lashes. And then on my lower lash line, I use Mega Plush Volume Express in very black. It is Maybelline. I kind of just use whatever on my lower lashes. They don't really tangle. They're really easy, thank goodness, because my top lashes are really difficult. So I just kind of throw some mascara on there. And then there I am showing you the two mascaras I used. That's the first one, and then the Mega one, the blue one was the lower lash line. And this is my Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. This is literally the only bronzer I use right now because I'm so pale. And I'm just using a big fat face brush to warm up my face. Um, also, this bronzer smells like a tropical paradise. It is wonderful. I bought it for Lori and I believe I had my grandma get it just because it smells so good. Make sure you blend your forehead. You wanna have that bronzer shade on your forehead, your cheeks, and your chin. Cause you want it to look as if you were out in the sun and when you're out in the sun, your forehead tans. 
Now I'm gonna deepen up my contour a little bit. I'm gonna grab the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette again. And I'm grabbing, I believe Subconscious is that shade right there. And then I literally, I just put it on this angled brush. I just put it on the side of the brush and I just hollow out my cheekbones a little bit and then kind of blend it into the bronzer. And then right here, I'm just like barely contouring my nose. The bridge of my nose is really skinny to begin with, so I don't really like contouring it. And then just again, bringing that shade to my forehead just because you want your whole face to look natural, so you have to take everything everywhere. Uh, these two shades are Lyric and Lucid. Lucid is a peachy shade. Um, I didn't want underneath my contour like super defined. I just kind of wanted to blend it out and make sure there are no harsh lines. So I used the peachy shade and the yellow shade. The yellow shade is really white, so I didn't want to take that down there. And then since I didn't highlight with concealer, I'm using the yellow shade to highlight my face where I would usually use concealer. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie Collection Highlight. The shade is Rose Champagne Glow. I love this highlight. It was seriously, I think it was like $5. And it really reminds me of MAC Soft and Gentle. You literally could put this all over your face. It is so beautiful, so natural. I use this as my base highlight, and then I'm gonna layer another highlight right over top of it. This is Becca Champagne Pop. You know, girl, that's my favorite highlight. Yeah, look at my face. <laughs> this is my favorite. It looks good when you're tan or when you're pale. Oh my God, I can't breathe. So good. Um, I'm just putting it on the high points of my cheek and then on the tip of my nose. I don't normally put highlight on the tip of my nose, but I love Champagne Pop. MAC Fix Plus to set the face. You know, gotta fan it out. All right, now we're gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Liquid Lipstick. I love the wand on this. You wouldn't think that there's a wand, but there totally is. And I will link this shade down below. I do not have this in front of me, so I can't remember the shade. It's like a nude peachy color, and these lipsticks smell like candy. They are wonderful. And this is not a matte liquid lipstick. It stays shiny, but it's literally just a liquid form of lipstick. So here we go, the look is finished. Um, I know if any of you noticed, I have mascara on my eyelid. I am so irritated by that. But I saw it after I was done recording, so I just used a Q-tip and got rid of it after I was done recording. Yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. There's my braces, hope you enjoy seeing my braces too. That's me making kissy faces at my dog, she's whining at me. All right, bye. 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 Bye.